another video. So today's quarantine meal is going to be cabbage soup. Sounds delicious, right? I'm going to go ahead and prepare my sausage because I'm going to put sausage in it. And we're going to brown the sausage before putting the cabbage and the rest of the ingredients inside of the crock pot. Before we leave any further, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So we're just going to brown the sausage a little bit in a pan with olive oil. And then we're gonna add it to the crock pot with the other ingredients. So I'm gonna go ahead and put two of them in there. And I'm doubling the recipe that I got from Google. Cause I've never made cabbage soup before, but I've always thought it sounded good. I decided it'd be a good quarantine meal. What are you guys fixing while you're in the house? I know a lot, especially with the kids home, child. Ooh, ah, the ghetto! on guys I got my quarantine outfit on and you know, I'm not being cute I have no makeup on like I literally just dropped a video on YouTube and now I'm up making another video for YouTube because I can use this time while a lot of people are home looking for content <laughs> I'll give you some content sausage right. I've already got the crock pot on high and this is a brand new crock pot, so it cooks stuff really fast. I am doing two heads of cabbage. The recipe calls for one head, but I'm going to. And the cabbage is organic. So I usually take off the first kind of layer. Okay, so look at the cabbage looks pretty beautiful to me so I'm gonna cut this stem part off so I'm gonna add chicken broth now and it says put six cups but because I'm doubling it are we gonna put like uh, eight to ten I got some carrots here. These are organic as well. I'm gonna keep the tops of my carrots because I've been looking into regrowing produce because we're gonna start our Bands Family Fun. Bands Family Fun. Bands Family Fun. We're also gonna use these for the cabbage soup. As you guys can see, I've already cut the tops off of my carrots. I'm gonna hand these over to the bench kit so they can regrow. Make sure you stay tuned for that video. I've already peeled one carrot. I'm about to peel the rest. Okay guys, I already put the potatoes in there, sausage, the cabbage, the carrots. Now I'm going to do the garlic. I also did the onions. So I'm gonna do uh, one, two, three, four, five, six cloves of garlic and throw them in the pot. I also have the chicken broth in the pot as well. It tells me to cook it down on high for two hours first and then add more seasoning. I'm going to chop up this garlic, add it to the pot, and then I will see you 
guys. Okay guys, so here's what my crock pot looks like. Don't worry, it looks a little overstuffed, but you know how cabbage is, it has to cook down. So um, I put the seasonings on top and I'll add more if I need to. But for the first two hours, this is just gonna cook down on high and then I'll let you guys check it out um, in two hours and it'll be all mixed together. You'll see the carrots and the potatoes and everything. Let me go ahead and add some water and then close it up and I'll let you guys see it again in two hours. Mm. Delicious. What's up, bitch babes? It has been two hours and I'm gonna let you guys take a look at the crock pot. So, you see it's gotten tender. You see the other ingredients in there, the carrots and all of that. So I'm gonna season it up some more and then let it cook for another two hours or so. This is my husband's bowl. You can see all the steam because it's so hot. It's fresh out of the crock pot. Um, it's gone down immensely because the binge kids are eating right now. So I also made honey butter cornbread muffins. All right. So this is my first bite. Gives it a, the caraway seed gives it a different taste. It's really good, guys. I think I'm gonna put some hot sauce in it. I eat it with my cornbread muffin. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more videos like this, make sure you smash that like button and comment. Make sure you subscribe. See you guys in the next video.